One, uh, Kim Crawford from New Zealand, and the other, Halleck Vineyard, of course, from here in the Russian River Valley. And I've always liked New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. It's really quite a bit different than, you know, sort of my go-to, which is a Sancerre or the California classics. Yeah. But um, there's lots of great stuff coming out of New Zealand. It's just, it's its its, its own style. It's really a, a whole different uh, category of Sauvignon Blanc. So um, we're doing a, a, a 2021. So both of these are 2021. This is an um, ABA for Marl Marlboro. Uh, our ABA is, is Russian River Valley. And the Kim Crawford is 13% alcohol. The, uh, of course, the California Sauvignon Blanc, the Halleck Vineyard is, is considerably more. It's at 14.1. Uh, and we're going to start with the, the Kim Crawford. Mm. Smells great. I'm also noticing the color. Mm -hmm. um, quite light. What would you call that? Like star bright? I think it's what Psalm say. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the, the sheen. The light straw. You know, it's, yeah, got... it's very pale. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's got really quite, quite a nose. It just goes, it, 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 it jumps out of the glass. What are the yeah, predominant huge, notes, do you think? Huge green pepper, mm -hmm. uh, hinging towards freshly cut grass. Both mm -hmm. of those classics on the young block notes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bell pepper for sure. Green bell pepper. And then sort of, it, it sort of trails with uh, your classic grapefruit notes as well. And that's what I think about New Zealand Sauvignon yeah. Blanc, this grapefruit. And totally. this, this has, you know, definitely that characteristic, but much, much more predominant with the bell pepper. Ooh. And pretty much the same notes for me. Yeah. Bell pepper, grapefruit. Mm -hmm. It lasts a long time, which is nice. Yeah, and it's got, it's very crisp and very, um, I would call it a thin mouthfeel, which is what you want from a Sauvignon Blanc. Very long finish. And the, 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 the finish is, is primarily grapefruit. And so uh, this wine is uh, $20 retail. Um, I would say this is a cocktail wine. Oh, I mean, yeah. You know, you could drink this at any party in, in a summer afternoon and, and really enjoy it. Um, if you were to pair it with something, what would you say? Well, you need something um, light and kind of green. So maybe ceviche? Yeah, ceviche yeah. with that, you know, the, the cilantro notes. Uh, the citrus, with the, yeah. And the citrus, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's jump into the Halleck Vineyard Sauvignon Blanc. And again, um, fairly similar color, maybe a little darker. Yeah, pretty similar, maybe pretty a similar. I think the Halleck's a touch darker. Just a touch darker, it's a touch more toward the golden. Very different well, nose. Yeah, very, very, different. very different nose. You can tell these are from worlds apart, uh, even though it's the same grape. So I always get that classic um, Sancerre note of uh, cat pee. <laughs> well, that's 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 a, a, a nuance there. I, I'm I'm not saying that it leads with that. I get right out of the gate, uh, but I agree. There's it's definitely there. Um, it's light, but it's there. Citrus, uh, sea breeze. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. um there's a yeah the neutral citrus sea breeze i always like to say seashell because it reminds mm -hmm. me of that kind of there's a minerality to it yeah there definitely is definitely about uh, sitting by the ocean and here we are i mean we can see the ocean literally from the top of our driveway here mm. yeah yeah, beautiful. I really get um, gooseberry on this particular vintage, which is so mm. weird. We I haven't had that note before. Yeah, it's got um, you know your classic Sancerre notes, um, uh, sort of lemon peel, um, uh, the gooseberry for sure. Gooseberry. There's a little bit of that uh, minerality on the palate as well, mm -hmm. um, and kind of a salinity as well, which is quite mm. nice. Yeah, it makes your mouth water. It makes you want another, want to taste another, mm. another drink. Mm. It's such a long finish too. Yeah, this is this is really an elegant wine. Um, it's a uh, it's a pairing wine. I mean, you, you could definitely drink this as a cocktail, but um, I'm I'm a big fan of this with raw oysters. I oh just think yeah, it's just it's just perfect. I mean, you don't need a uh, you know anything else, just a, a raw oyster and, and, and this. Of course, it, it'll go fine with any of your white fish and uh, a, a roasted chicken would be great as well. Uh, now this wine is $47, so considerably more. Um, it's uh, made in very small quantities and uh, we hope you love them. So 
Well, if you enjoy these videos, like and subscribe, please. And we will uh, we will see you on the next one.